Hello my beautiful people and welcome to my channel. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to talk about another Middle Eastern fragrance. But before I start, if you're new here, my name is Martin and I do perfume reviews. So welcome to this channel and to all my returning subscribers, welcome as well. I appreciate it and thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to talk about a fragrance by Afnan. This is a very well-known um, company in general and I mean here in Vienna it's not very that popular or very well known but in the perfume community and especially in the community where it's all about Middle Eastern fragrances this house is quite popular and I'm going to talk about a specific fragrance from the Turati line and I have the purple bottle here because I was craving this fragrance for such a long time from the notes it seemed very intriguing and very much something I would enjoy but there are not really many many reviews out there so I thought okay let me get the bottle and do a review and see if it's working for me so let's get started so I have the presentation here with me the whole box I mean it looks phenomenal this is really a 10 out of 10 and I remember the first time when I opened that the box I was getting a specific smell and I was like oh my god so this fragrance needs to be a beast smell or very strong and here we have the bottle and it's a very heavy glass bottle I love the color it's a very dark purple nearly black and just very beautiful I love the shape of it you have a very heavy plastic component as well so you don't get anything cheap from the presentation to the bottle and of course the same which I'm going to talk about next Everything seems high quality and you can get that fragrance for I think around 35 euros a paid So it's not pricey like under 50 euro you can get that fragrance So let me actually spray it on my wrist because I did give it a whole word test a few times and I smelt it Tried it tried to layer it. So this is not a first impressions. I Mean and I can also smell it in the air. This is such a unique fragrance like really super unique This is not the typical Middle Eastern DNA I mean, honestly, I'm kind of fed up with the rose wood combinations. This is something totally new. So if you're looking for something unique, something totally new, then I feel like this is something you should consider trying. But let me talk about the notes first and how I actually perceive that fragrance, how I feel about that fragrance in general. So from the notes, you have a fruity accord, you have red berries, as far as I know, you have pineapple, you also have jasmine in here. You have oak moss in here, you have um, vanilla and patchouli. So this is a very, I wouldn't say complex scent, but the notes are very interesting because from the notes, I was actually expecting something very fruity, like a happy scent, but then when you look at the bottle and you actually get a patchouli note, it kind of goes into a different direction. I remember the first time when I tried it, I didn't really know what to think. And I kind of like the feeling because I couldn't even compare it to another fragrance and still I cannot really compare it to another fragrance. I don't think that this is a dupe for anything. I was really trying to look at every review that's out there on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, different postings and I couldn't find like a clue or someone saying okay this is a specific a dupe for like a specific fragrance. So here I am with the scent that's actually not a dupe for anything or at least I don't know about any dupe this like any fragrance this could be a dupe of and I really really like that actually and yes as I said this is fruity it's kind of sparkly as well you know like in the opening it's like kind of sparkly kind of not metallic this this is definitely not metallic but there's like a synthetic sharpness about that but still it's not like overly synthetic or too much for example you can get that with many Middle Eastern fragrances that have for example, saffron in here, like the saffron can be very sharp. And here in the opening, it's like you get fruitiness. It's like sour fruits, like sour red berries. When, for example, when you eat like super sour berries and you get that kind of special sensation, let's say like that, that feeling in your mouth, like your mouth gets watery. This is the same thing you actually smell. And yes, as I said, you get the red berries, you get pineapple in here. And according to Fragrantica, there is pineapple in here. But the pineapple is more in the background. This is really more about the red berries. And you get the patchouli, but the patchouli you don't really get instantly. It takes you like around five to 10 minutes to get the patchouli. And 
like what I think is very interesting, it kind of starts bright. I wouldn't say like very, this is, this definitely is like a cheerful fragrance. Like for example, with Anna Aviet, uh, Vella Tafa, this is a very cheerful and happy fragrance. This one here starts kind of bright, kind of sharp, and then it gets darker and darker and more dense and you get the patchouli note, like the patchouli note gets heavier and you also have the vanilla in here. And I think, let me spray it again, I definitely think that this is a unisex scent, so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, according to Afnan, this is marketed towards women, but to me, this is really unisex. And talking about unisex, this is a very sexy fragrance, you know, like very, this is, I think, one of the best date night scents you can have. And you get that niche quality, you know, it's not like... A designer type of fragrance this is definitely more in the niche category definitely unisex as I said it's not feminine leaning not masculine leaning I think this is perfectly in the middle and this is super seductive this is super sexy as I already said I mean like just looking at the bottle that color you know purple I associate that color with sensuality like really with a seduction and overall with sex appeal and I think this is really what that fragrance is all about. In my opinion, this is not really a fragrance I would personally wear in the summer. I, I think this could be a little bit too much because of that sharpness and that, you know, it's not very like soft. This is, this is like very intense. It can be very intense overall if you especially over spray it. But I, I see that fragrance more like in like a, like a colder evening, for example, also in spring, you can wear this one for sure, winter for sure, maybe in the summer if it's not getting too hot, but I think this could be a little bit overwhelming. I know by myself, I'm, I'm going to wear that fragrance for sure in the summer because I don't mind that, you know, if you have a great layering combo and you also have to keep in mind where to wear it, you know, like which occasion, if your friends don't mind to like smell some intense, beast mode fragrances then go for it but in my personal opinion this is more like of a fall or spring scent definitely also for the winter summer i'm not quite sure because i haven't tested this one in the summer heat but yes i don't want to talk too much too much about that to just sum it up this is definitely unisex you, um, this is inexpensive as i said you can get this fragrance for under 50 euro and this is super, super sexy and seductive. Really one of the most seductive fragrances. And I watched like a few videos actually and everyone was saying like this is sexy. And I'm like, like how can, I be how can a fragrance be called sexy by so many different people? And now I know it's very hard to describe why I personally think that this is a very sexy scent. But if you have it, if you've tried it, if you didn't yet and you tried, I feel like most of you guys are going to feel the same way. And I think the interesting thing is because it starts very sharp and it kind of gets a little bit more toned down, but it also gets a little bit darker and you get the patchouli note, but it's a very refined patchouli. If you're not that much into patchouli fragrances, you don't have to like worry because this is definitely more on the fruitier side and on the more spicy side. From like spice, spices, as far as I know, you have the cardamom in here and I do get some touches. But overall, this is more like of a red berry fruit kind of scent, like just in general red fruits, also like maybe red apple and in general like strawberries and raspberries, whatever, like all types of berries. I feel like you put this in a bowl, you mix it together and then you add some pineapple, you add some oak moss, you get the mossy touches, especially because of the oak moss and the patchouli, which, which is adding a little bit like of an earthiness. But this is very well blended overall. So you don't have to worry or think, okay, the patchouli is going to be maybe too much. Or like the fruitiness, the sweetness. Overall, it's very well blended. But you have, I, I think you have to like let it sit for a minute or two. Don't judge it by the first prayer. Because I don't think you're going to get the effect in like the first two to three minutes. You have to let it sit. And then you actually are going to get what I mean and what's actually good about that fragrance. So I think I actually said everything I wanted to say. Um, this is really not a safe blind buy, but as I said, if you like red fruits, if you like fruity fragrances in general, if you like patchouli, if you're into seductive scents, you know, 
then go for this one. I don't think you're going to regret it. And in the worst case, you can actually layer up with other fragrances or just gift it to someone else because there are definitely people out there that are going to love and enjoy that fragrance. So yes, thank you for watching and thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. Comment down below, tell me what you think. If you've tried that fragrance, I would really love to know because there are not many reviews out there. And I would love to know if you guys actually have that fragrance, what you think about that fragrance. And I hope to see you guys very soon for another review. Thank you.